Be yes. still safe from travel troubles in North Dakota. Killers. Yes, this is not a problem. But again, in the streetlight, a couple of flakes flying in Williston. That's it, though. Isn't that nice when you got to look hard to find any snow falling? Again, great travel here. 26 right now in the Western Star City. A little bit showing up on radar south of Minot, likely not reaching the ground. You got to get some of the higher returns back through northeast Montana, where there is a light touch of snow moving along US 2 again into Williston. But I just don't foresee any any real problem here might be a dusting on grassy surfaces back mostly in northeast Montana, but dry weather all in all here for the next seven days here uh, again, not looking at much of anything for the northern plains because of that high pressure sprawling high coming in out of southern Canada and moving through the northern plains here, and that's forcing that active pattern back away from us, but uh, quite a bit of moisture for the mountains here, especially in Montana, Colorado, Wyoming, where we could see up to two, maybe three feet of snow in the upper elevations. Good for those areas, but for us, maybe a few flurries that's what we have right now. Now in Williston, 26, 27 in Minot, 33 in Bismarck. Once we drop below freezing, we stay there probably until Saturday. Northerly winds right now between about 5 and 15. Putting wind chills now in the teens and low 20s. We'll continue to see the wind chills drop into the single digits. In fact, here is a look at the wind chill forecast. How cold is it going to feel tomorrow morning? Thanksgiving Day snapshot at 10 a.m. Single digit wind chills. It's going to be a cold day here despite a mostly sunny sky, especially mid to late morning by 5 o'clock. Again, single digits. We might work our way into the teens here, but there will be a brisk breeze all day and then sub zero wind chills for Friday morning. We're our way only to around 15, 10 or 15 by Friday afternoon. So a cold stretch of days on the way, just a light north wind, but that's going to keep those wind chills at times dropping below zero. How about some good news here? Thankful for the great weather, but into early December, this is the forecast for the next eight to 14 days. Takes us out about two weeks here. Uh, normal high near 32. I think we have a higher probability of above normal temperatures getting into the first week of December. That just means right there that no matter what, winter won't be as relentless as it was last year with what I see on the way for the next couple weeks. Tonight, temps will be in the teens tomorrow, looking at low to mid 20s, but at least we got sunshine that's in our favor here. Seven day forecast. Enjoyable Thanksgiving. Uh, it's, that's for sure, right? Don't have to worry about blowing snow and road problems and all that sort of thing. The wind will pick up a bit, especially Sunday and Monday, but we're back into the 30s as early as Saturday. Oh.